Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Hope everybody's doing good out there today and I uh, just really appreciate you guys making some time to watch the video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to modify and rig my favorite uh, trailer for a football head jig, specifically for bigger fish and specifically for the fall time of the year. You know, football head jigs, they, they work good year round, but it seems like to me, there's a period of like September to November where they're really good in certain situations. And this is the trailer that I use. I'm gonna show you guys how to modify it. I think it's gonna help you guys catch some good ones coming up this fall. Real quick, just wanted to give you guys a reminder. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel here and you like what's going on, probably the best way you can do that is just to click that view products tab. You'll see a little thing when the video starts at the bottom left hand, right after the intro, it says view products. And I put in there like 30 products. I think you guys might be interested to check out. And all you have to do is just click on one of those products. You don't have to buy it. Just click on view product and um, the channel gets 20 cents every time you click on a product. So five clicks, the channel makes a dollar. So that's a good way to, to support the channel that's going on here. Much appreciated. Okay guys, let's get into this a little bit here. Um, here's the football head jig that I use. I'm not even really sure what brand this is. I've had, I've got about, one of the, a co-angler about 20 years ago gave me about a hundred of these things. And it's just a, a typical three quarter ounce football head jig. I'm not real picky when it comes to football head jigs, but the trailer is what I want to show you guys the modification on. Now, most people, when they think about football head jig trailers, like the Rage Craw and the Zoom Super Speed Craw, some type of that flap and leg craw type trailer is what they use. But guys, I'm telling you right now, the Zoom full size brush hog is one of the best football head jig trailers that you can use. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how I modify this thing to, to rig it up on my football head jigs. So anyway, the first thing that I do with it is I'm gonna trim this thing down a little bit. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna trim like all the way down, but I'm gonna come in probably just right below the flapping legs there. So it's about like that. So, and a lot of times it depends on the profile size that you want. Sometimes I may leave it a little bit bigger if I'm on a lake that's got some really big fish on it, but this is the general uh, length I like on it. The next thing I do is I take my scissors and I want to cut, I like to cut three or fours, the more the better, but cut the flappers on the sides here and separate them like they're serrated a little bit. And I, there's something about this, I just think that it gives the, it makes the bait look a little bit more realistic a little bit more, uh, <coughs> excuse me, like some type of a, a creature down there. So I got them all flared out like that. Next thing, I'm gonna rig this thing up here. And I always rig it, you know, that setting up there where the, where the flappers are on the side. And it's really important, guys, when, you, uh, when you're rigging or you're putting your trailer on, you know, take some time to get that thing on, you know, really straight. It's really, really critical to get the straighter the better, it just looks a lot more natural. So this is the finest com final combo. It's a good looking little tidbit, guys. You got the, you know, you got the curly legs, you got the, the bulk and the profile of the flappers on it. And I'm telling you right now, the big fish will bite this for whatever reason. There's just something about it that it creates a profile completely different than anything else that you know, they see us with football head jigs. I have used like an entire brush hog before, not done any trimming on it when I'm on a really big fish lake. That will get you bit right there, I promise. And a lot of times what I'll do is um, I like to put just a little bit of chartreuse, you know, on the tentacles here. Sometimes orange if it's the pre-spawn, but this time of year when the fish are keying on bluegills a little bit more than crawdads, I'll put the chartreuse on there. It sort of resembles more of a, I don't know if it's a, it's a the perch or whatever you never know what the bass thinks something is but i know they will bite that so just a few tips about where to fish it the main thing you want to look for guys in the uh, fall time of the year is your secondary creek points i usually go back and pick out two or three of the major creeks on the lake you're fishing and just get on some of those secondary points and just fan cast those points in anywhere between five to thirty foot of water depending upon your water clarity obviously the clearer the water the deeper the fish may be and that's just a good way to get bit by some good fish. So give it a try, guys. Get your Zoom brush hogs, trim them down a little bit, and um, it's going to definitely catch you some good ones this fall. Talk to you guys later. See you. 